Hello brothers, it's Deacon Michael, and I'm coming to you a little bit late in the day, on the day we're supposed to have our consecration, reflection, and prayer. And so we're only five days away from our day of consecration, May 1st. St. Joseph the Worker is the feast day on May 1st. And today, our reflection for day 28 of our consecration is Comfort of the Afflicted. What an apt title for St. Joseph that we are looking at today considering that there are many people that are facing um, afflictions of many kinds, um, not only from the effects of the pandemic going on in our, in our world, but also the many other things that afflict us in our everyday life. Uh, to know that St. Joseph is there to bring comfort to us and to support us in our life of faith, and when we face tough times, that he is there to support us. So let's begin together. St. Francis de Sales says, Nothing will be refused, St. Joseph, neither by Our Lady nor by His glorious Son. Comforting the afflicted is a work of mercy. The Church has seven spiritual works of mercy and several corporal works of mercy. The works of mercy help us to be devout followers of Jesus Christ by serving others. They help us to be like St. Joseph. The seven corporal works of mercy are feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless, visit the prisoners, comfort the sick, bury the dead. And the seven spiritual works of mercy are teach the ignorant, pray for the living and the dead, correct sinners, counsel those in doubt, console the sorrowful, Bear wrongs patiently, forgive wrongs willingly. The Latin title, Solatium Miserorum, is generally translated as Comfort of the Afflicted, but it can also be rendered Solace of the Miserable or Solace of Those in Misery. Experiencing misery or feeling miserable is not pleasant. Yet the reality is that we are all going to have miserable moments in life. This world is a valley of tears, and everyone is going to suffer. There is no way around it, whether it's financial problems, marital hardships, psychological struggles, difficulties in relationships, the death of loved ones, or a thousand other woes. We will all experience misery in life. It's good to have someone we can turn to for comfort and solace in such times. St. Joseph will comfort you in difficult times. Life is filled with many sorrows. Loved ones will die. Children sometimes rebel. And gravity will eventually take away your youthfulness, making you old and immobile. No matter what life brings, however, St. Joseph will always be your consolation, comfort, and solace. He knows well that the, the hardships of life. He is a kind and loving father. He comforts everyone who comes to him in times of affliction. His fatherhood is unlike any other. St. Joseph Morello said, Let us commend ourselves to our good father, St. Joseph, who is the patriarch of troubled people, since he himself went through so much trouble. A loving father provides comfort to his children, especially when they are going through difficulties. A father's wisdom and presence are reassuring and life-giving. Knowing you can always go to your father in difficult times reassures you that everything will be okay, even when your world seems to be falling apart. Regret regrettably, many people have never experienced this kind of love from a father. Many people today have grown up with emotionally abusive, distant, and less than virtuous fathers. This has led many people to experience great anxieties and fears in life, as well as a tremendous sense of insecurity. God wants you to rest in St. Joseph's fatherhood. St. Joseph will never abandon you. No matter what your experience of fatherhood has been, St. Joseph will always be there for you. He is your spiritual dad, and he loves you. He will never hurt you, 
he would give his life for you a million times over. When life has you down, run to your spiritual father. Pour out your heart to him. Tell him your troubles. He is the most loving of fathers. He is always available for you, always attentive, always understanding. We conclude with a, pope from, uh, with a quote from Pope Benedict XVI. If discouragement overwhelms you, think of the faith of Joseph. If anxiety has its grip on you, think of the hope of Joseph. If exasperation or hatred seizes you, think of the love of St. Joseph, who was the first man to set eyes on the human face of God in the person of the infant conceived by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Let us praise and thank Christ for having drawn so close to us and for giving us Joseph as an example and model of love. Now you may pause this video and turn to part two of our St. Joseph consecration book and read the section on page 215 titled Pious Union of St. Joseph. I'll also provide a link below this video to a special place we have in Michigan, which is actually called the Pious Union of St. Joseph. They are a religious order in Grass Lake, Michigan, and their entire mission as a, as a religious community is to pray for those that are ill or sick and those that are dying or have, who have recently died. And now we will turn, as we always do, uh, to praying the Litany of St. Joseph. You can either find it on page 233 uh, of the book, or you can find it right below our um, uh, below this video on a link that I provide. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Courageous, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. Glory of domestic life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and Prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose Blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your Most Holy Mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. All right, brothers, I will not see you after too long uh, because... Uh, the next day will be approaching me pretty soon after I finish filming this. So I will look forward to seeing you very shortly. 
um, as we look forward to um, celebrating our next day as we journey toward consecration to St. Joseph. God bless all of you and have a blessed evening. Good night.